All right, the last one's loading, guys. They're All right, there goes Imagination. <clears throat> They're in. They're off. Ooh. Uh, it looked like Just Steel came out a little bit, but everybody's okay. Imagination starting to cross over, and it looks like it's going to be him and Sees the Gray. Uh, Mystic Dan probably going to sit about third here. And it, at this point, it looks like Seize the Gray may set the pace. The uh, Tory has made a very, I, I don't know exactly what he's doing, uh, to be honest. He made a decision, it looks like. He's kept the horse very wide. I guess he wants uh, to stay on the middle of the track. But he also made a very clear decision. He looked over at, uh, at Torres on Seize the Gray and said, you know what, it looks like he's going. We're not going to try to get to the lead. So, Imagination sits off of him very wide, wide throughout here, Halterman. A length back behind sees the great Mystic Dan. Look where else? On the rail in third, just still to his outside, catching freedom, you know, closer, right? Closer than yep. he has been because of the smaller field. But uh, and Tuscan Gold sitting there near the back of the pack, third to last. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, Frankie's riding imagination like he's the best horse in the race. There's no sure doubt is. keeping him wide and just like, hey, we're going wide and we'll, we'll make our move. Sees the gray. Lucas on the lead. Sees on the, the gray. Turn. He's on the lead and he's widening a little bit here. Uh, we'll see what happens. Sees the gray. Dan's making a move up the rail. There goes Mystic Dan. So Tuscan Gold isn't going to fire. I don't he, I don't know where why he was so far back. Uh yeah, we got. We're gonna have a couple options here. Here comes Mystic Dan. Imagination is not gonna get there. Doesn't look like. Uh -uh. Ah, guys, Cesar Gray is gonna be tough customer up front. He's looking really good. Catching Mystic freedom, Dan's trying to get down. Catching, catching freedom, freedom, trying to get going. Oh, come on, three. Come Cesar on. Cesar Gray is gonna wire the Preakness guys. It, I, L3 is trying to make up the ground late. Mystic Dan trying to make the ground nope. late. Sees the gray. My racehorse, D. Wayne Lucas, wins, wins the, the Preakness. The Preakness Holy again. shit. <laughs> <laughs> and all my tickets are dead, but I am very happy that the coach has done it again. <laughs> With Sees the freaking gray. Sees the gray just won Preakness 149 after winning uh, last out off two weeks layoff as well. Another two weeker, uh, but he did not run in the Derby. He ran in the Pat day mile. So we saw him on the undercard of the Derby and D Wayne says, you know what? We're going to run him right back into the Preakness and look what it did. Halterman. Un freaking believable. Believe the great Mystic win and got second. Oh, it's tight. Uh, Tuscan Gold actually did get fourth. Like he, I don't know what his deal was. He just, I don't know. He was never on the lead or never close to the lead. I, I don't know if he missed a break. Yeah, he did kind of miss a break. Looks like. Wow. I am imagination nowhere to be found. I don't know what that was from him. Um. Wow. wow. You said at the top of the stretch, and I totally agreed. Sees the gray is just doing it easy on the front. Uh, uh, incredible. And Jared. Did this not remind you of Oxbow a little bit when he did it? I I think I I think I had he was in my mind whenever they turned for home because you know whenever whenever they when they turned and he was widening, I was like, uh oh, this is not going to be easy, right? You're if, if someone certainly can come get him, but it's going to take an effort. It, Here's the it, thing, dude. It, it the the two horses, you know, the two Mystic Dan and Catching Freedom were kind of what I maybe you even were worried about with catching freedom, what they were, right? Just a little short, just, just couldn't, didn't quite have that mm, to get there. The, the problem was you and I probably both assumed the six was going to be imagination. Exactly. Right. And so if you flip it or Tuscan gold or whoever you think is going to be forwardly placed. And neither one of them were there. And it was seize the grave. If you flip it and it's imagination, you're like nailed it. <laughs> because Mystic Dan, Catching Freedom, Tuscan Gold. Hey, what do you know? Flashback to two weeks ago where we had the second, the third, the fourth, and we didn't have the winner. Once again, the same thing happened. And look, he got the trip that we thought Imagination would get. We thought he would be very, very comfortable, but we thought it'd be Imagination. Like I said, it sees the gray. So guys who are asking, sees the gray. Number six, sees the gray has won the Preakness for D. Wayne Lucas. Mystic Dan second, Catching Freedom third, Tuscan Gold fourth. Just steal fifth. That's insane. That's insane. I can't believe it. I mean, 
Aziza Gray, you're nine to one. Just barely bet harder than Just Steele at ten to one. Um, just I don't I don't, I I don't know, man. Um, imagination. I you know I the way that was an interesting ride. I guess I the, I guess when you look back at it now, you can say that because he rode him like he was way the best, and maybe he just didn't like the surface or whatever. Who knows? But he literally had not. I mean, you could—he was getting swallowed up before they got out of the turn. I, I, I just—it was incredible. I, when they turned from, I was like, "Well, imagination's not firing." But I, I still thought in my mind one of these horses is going to go get him. He just wouldn't slow down. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. Went out there, sat those fractions. Nobody went and got him. And again, it's the flip of what happened because. You know, we were thinking, well, hopefully, you know, for po- imagination betters, he gets out in front and sees the great unpressure, and it flipped. And, ima- yeah. and, and Frankie didn't pressure him. <laughs> Twenty, th- almost twenty-four flat, forty-seven uh, and three, one almost one twelve flat, a little a little faster. Uh, ran the mile one thirty-seven uh, and three quarters, but or three fifths. But listen, they weren't flying, but they weren't going slow. Um, imagination set wide the whole way and, uh, sees a gray just kind of did his thing. You know, like I said, early in the race, you could tell uh, the Tory looked over at, at, at Torres on, on, on just sees a gray and said, okay, like you're taking it. Okay. That's fine. We'll sit off. And, and, and obviously never looked back. So nope. very much, uh, very Oxbow esque. Uh, you said it earlier. So again, like it's just one of those cases that uh, not exactly surprising that the three and the and the five didn't quite have that umph. I mean, listen, take no nothing away from either one of them. They ran their race, right? Yeah, they just were two weeks, right? Yeah. Two weeks. That was tough. Yeah. Mystic Dan ran well. Like he he did everything right, other yeah. than get to the winner. I just hey. I'm just I'm just surprised. Here's the thing. Like he didn't want to run him in the derby because he didn't think he could go that far. That's what he said. <laughs> and and he, so he so he ran in the pat day, and then you had the feeling of like, well, it's it's Lucas, so of course he's gonna, just going to run him back, right? You know, he's going to run him the previous if he can, but he's still like he can't get the distance. Wow, I I, I mean, I, I can't believe he won. Well, I don't know what you want me to say. Like I. I look, I, I think like turn it for home. I was like, yeah, he may be a candidate to, he's going to hit the board here. Like he's running really well. Oh, Hey, <laughs> look at he that. Kept, he just kept going. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. That's my boy. That's my boy I, right there. Signed it I, for us on the, on the back of a horse. He signed it for us that day. I, I'm, I, I he's unbelievable. D Wayne Lucas, <laughs> you know, almost 90 years old and he's out there winning triple crown races. I mean, it's incredible. He just won the Preakness. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I, I think it was like, a, I, and someone can in the chat can let me know. Like the stat is it's like, it was this season. Well, these two runners were like his, how many, what starter in the Preakness? I mean, it was like, I feel like it was in the forties. I mean, just an insane number of how many starters he's had. Yeah. in this race and guess what this is what he does like that's why he runs them in this race oxbow didn't have much of a chance in the race sees the grace certainly didn't have much of a chance in this race but don't tell him that right that's what he, what, he, what does he say can't mail him in right you gotta line them up and run them ah, that's right he gets paid to spoil dreams that's what he said after oxbow beat orb yeah it, yeah We'll see if he has that line again and and he, yeah. hey, you know you know his ass will be at saratoga you know that Absolutely. Probably with both of them. (laughs) They run them both again.